Steve Quadro started his American dream in his early years. Working at his father and uncle's company, Steve learned everything he could from a pioneer of the transportation industry. Growing up as a young kid, um, I spent many, many hours with my father, either in the truck or working around trucks. Got older, I, I got more involved in, in positions in sales and dispatch and the integral parts of running a trucking company. My father and uncle, working for them, it was difficult at times because I had to answer to two bosses. There's always some conflict between them, and it got to a point where they were arguing every day. When things went south for the family business, Steve had to pause. Little did he know that this setback would soon open many doors for him. I got a call one day from my dad saying, listen, while you were working for us, we had a, a, a visitor, a guy by the name of George Harris. He said, um, I called George a couple weeks ago, and I asked him if his business was still for sale, and he said yes. So I called him, we met at a uh, diner, went home, told my dad, he said, I'm gonna make a phone call, go see your aunt. So I told her what I wanted to do and she wrote me out a check for $5,000 payable to Oilways Company and uh, the next day I, I met Mr. Harris at his office, I handed him the deposit money and I was in business. And now Steve's venture to founding All Chemical Transport Corporation has turned his American dream into reality. We are a, a DOT approved carrier that specializes in the transporting of hazardous and non-hazardous liquid bulk commodities in tank trailers. I think the biggest thing for us is image. We always present a good image. We do things that maybe another carrier don't want to do, don't have the ability to do. At that point, he was a very small company and resources were very limited, but uh, Steve had always put safety first. His concern was his drivers, his employees, his customers, the general public. He's never been one to, to cut corners to save a few bucks. We're always willing to um, expand our horizons as far as if somebody approaches us with an idea, uh, an example was that company that came from uh, Australia. They make a special tank. Then I said, yeah, I'd like to get involved because it's, it's innovative. It's gonna be the next stepping stone to uh, future cargo tanks. So now it's fiberglass and, and these polyethylene tanks, polypropylene tanks that Omni's making, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be a game changer. Uh, and we're fortunate that they came to us, that they had, uh, you know, they could have went to anybody else, but being somewhat uh, willing to take chances, which I've done pretty much for the last 40 years on certain projects, yeah, it, it turned out to be pretty good. Steve always had nice equipment, top-end equipment, and was reliable in terms of telling you it's going to be there and having it be there. My younger brother who heads up our dispatch said, listen, I'm getting a lot of calls from shippers that we do business with that have containers sitting at depots in New Jersey. And because of the driver shortage, because of COVID, they can't, they can't get their product. And I said, you know, I think I can help them. We had a quick meeting with management and we decided to take a chance and get in the container business. It's a small world. The container people are mostly out of Houston. They found out that we had a lift. And the next thing I know, I have people from Stolt and Hoyer sitting in my office begging to give me as much business as I can handle. So we went from storing maybe 100 containers on our facility, it's now up to eight to 900 containers, and we have the capacity to go a lot more. Growing up with many obstacles and a mentally challenged brother, Steve knew how hard it was to navigate difficulties in life. Now he makes sure to give a helping hand anytime he can. It was difficult growing up with that, and I could see the hardship it put on my, my mother and father. So uh, one of the things that uh, I decided to do, in Lakewood we have the uh, Ocean County uh, Art Association. So I sat on that board for, for 15 years, and uh, it was a very uh, rewarding experience for me because I wanted to be part of the community. I'm also um, involved doing prison ministries four times a year. I go up to the local prison and along with my church and uh, do sermons four times a year. We deal with the McGuire Air Force Base. We have a program we deal with them, guys coming out of the service, 20 years, 
They're looking for a job. So whatever I can, I, I, again, being diversified, not only with the trucks, but with the employees as well. It's, it's making this company what it is today.